about to look under here and see how wet my underquilt is. Shoes are wet. Looks like only the sides actually made him. At least I stayed warm all night. Going into town, going into Helen, we have a room. I usually wear my base layers, and I know I'm going into town because they don't smell quite as bad. It's 49 degrees right now, and it's about to drop to 40, and I want to be ready. I'm having so much fun getting this knot out. I don't even know how it happens. After this guy talked for a long time about packing everything out and picking up trash, goes and leaves his bottle. I guess it happens to the best of us, unless you've already hiked the AT and are in training and talked about yourself for several hours. Maybe then you shouldn't leave your bottle. The last to leave, as always, but it's actually, what, it's not too late, right? It's like nine? Yeah, it's only nine o'clock. Only nine. We're doing good. Oh, yeah, we're really bad at signing into the shelter logs, but maybe we'll get better. I don't know. <laughs> Mia just pointed out that someone really loves Jerry Seinfeld. What is this? It's like an entire conversation from the episode of the Soup Nazi. Man, cold, rainy, and windy is not my thing. I stood at the shelter too long, waiting for Lee to get ready. And my toe that I'm having trouble with is feeling not good. And it freaks me out a little bit. I mean, honestly, I feel like that's the kind of thing that would take me off trail. If it's gonna be cold and windy and rainy all the time, I mean, I feel like I'm really gonna damage my toe. I don't really know how to solve that problem, but it's very concerning. The heating and the cooling, the freezing, and the warming up, I read about it, is not good at all. I mean, the damage is done to an extent, maybe, but am I making it worse? I don't know. I don't like how long my toe has been feeling like this. And getting it cold and wet again. Temperature dropped like 10 degrees in the last two hours and from basically 50 degrees to 40 degrees in wet shoes and really high winds up on that mountain ridge. I wanted to get going earlier, but you know, sometimes those kind of things don't work out. This is gonna be fun. Another thing is I haven't really exactly talked about it yet to those of you who don't know me. I have a gluten allergy and I think that the last time I was in town I got gluten because I had a salad and I was ate over half of it. There's croutons at the bottom and of course I didn't eat the croutons but sometimes it doesn't take much because I'm feeling super depleted in the past two days just like physically tired and that's what happens so it's gonna make this hill even more fun. I think I'm going to start hiking separately of Leah full time for a while, maybe a week or so. We just got in this argument because my trekking pole slipped off in the mud and I fell down and she was like, I don't think this life is for you. Well, you know what? That's not really for her to say. And um, it really upset me because if you're going to have a partner up here, you gotta support each other in this, you know? If you decide to keep going, you gotta be there for each other. Or just don't say anything at all, but don't say something like that. That just kinda, I don't know. That really upset me, so I think I might just be better on my own for a while. We're 
Unicoi Gap. It looks like uh, behind this van over here, there's some trail magic, which would be awesome. I'd love a cup of coffee or a Coke. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, cocoa. That was delicious. Gatorade. We're here on the one day these guys do trail magic. Seems pretty special. It's pretty yeah. special. Yeah. So I'm Tom, I'm Vice President and Co-Founder of Hike for Mental Health. We're an all-volunteer organization. We raise money for mental health research. 10% uh, of what we raise goes to the ATC and 10% goes to the PCT. Our last check to the ATC was for 11250 bucks. So um, please like us on Facebook, Google us, Hike for Mental Health. It's a great organization. Right Co-Founder and Vice President, Tom Kennedy. Thanks, man. Thanks to all these guys. They only do trail magic once a year. Lucky we got here on that day. Oh, <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Today was the lucky day. We're trying to hitchhike. Nobody likes us. Okay, it's only been five minutes. Nope. Maybe soon. I'm just gonna keep walking. All right. Just got a ride from a couple nice young gentlemen. They said that they give a lot of rides. And we're at the Country Inn. Country Inn Suites. This town is precious. Uh, the guy who gave us a ride said that everybody who's local hates it. And I could totally understand that as someone who lives in Austin. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go check it out and uh, maybe find something to eat, so yeah. I got this piece of fudge. I got a chocolate covered Twinkie. We shouldn't come into town hungry. It looks like a piece of Texas toast. It's huge. Mm, I'm gonna die, I can't eat this. I feel like I'm in an amusement park, but there's no rides. There's just like food, kind of. We're at a restaurant called Cowboys and Angels, which I would never normally come to, but here we are. And I feel like everyone here hates us. I can't tell if it's because I have blue hair or because I'm a dirty hiker. I think they can smell us. Yeah. Got coffees from a nice lady. Gave us a discount. Uh, Leah gave two dollars to these little boys who were busking with her monicas and they had little boots out it was really cute. What did cute. they say? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? I don't know what are you talking about. He said a whole dollar. Anyway so she made their day and then we saw this like horse-drawn carriage with a dog sitting in it and the dog was like looking at me like I was its new mama. Yeah. It he was. Said, You're my new mom. I'm pretty sure it's because I smell like the woods. He was like um uh, <laughs> can I have some of that please? room at the country inn you know what? it's not bad it looks clean i mean for a hundred dollars it better look clean but uh it's gonna be nice i'm gonna sit down and make a video can't believe i ate that entire bison burger that's not something i would normally ever do but i did it whoa why are you doing that that's private. They're fresh. Laundry's fresh. 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 There's one thing I've learned about Georgia. Is they don't really know what gluten-free is. That's okay. But if you're gluten-free, watch your back. Oh, these lights are not doing me any favors. Just did a resupply at the uh, Dollar, was it Dollar General? DG. DG. $30 at Dollar General doesn't feel like a general dollar. It feels like 30 of them, but. I only spent 16. What did I, that's what happened. I had 10 minutes. Bag. I had 10 minutes to shop and I freaked out. And I just started <laughs> buying stuff. Like it was like a cash grab. Like it was gonna be free, but it wasn't. It wasn't free. Anyway, now we're gonna go get wings. I'm probably gonna get gluten again. You the big daddies? I'm not, um, I'm not responsible. I can't take care of myself. I almost bought a sign in there that said, uh, most valuable baby on board. And I was going to put on my backpack because I thought it was funny. And I Leah said, intervene. she said that was unacceptable, but. That's not exactly what happened. I disagree. I think I'm it was a okay about being irresponsible and getting gluten. I, uh, take these if I know I might have something iffy. It actually works. Three, four, five, three. We just ate a lot of hot wings. And now we're going to go in the hot tub. It's a twofer. Hot wings, hot tub. I just said that joke, but I had to record it because I liked it. It's not really a joke, is it? Hot wings, hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. Except for 
maybe the local library. Thank you, local library. You've never failed me, and today, you still have never failed me. This has been 100% the biggest waste of day. And it's all because of you guys, because uh, I was trying to make a video for you guys. Okay, I made the video, but I couldn't upload it because there's so many people here in Helen that there's no signal to be had. So I hope you guys enjoy video number two, because I didn't do anything else all day long to get it. Okay, I had coffee. He's saying goodbye to Helen, Georgia, just in the nick of time to go night hike, I guess. I guess we're about to try and hitchhike her right out of here. Hey, Leah, you ready to put your thumb out? Huh? You ready to put your thumb out? Yeah. I don't even give a crap that I'm vlogging in public. Who cares? It's time to get thummy. Do you want to go to the restroom first? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Hey, there's a Santa over there. They have everything in this town. A what? There was a bunny. There's a Santa. That's a Christmas shop. Oh. Well, I feel stupid. Look, a windmill house. That's cool. I've always wanted one of those. The closest I've ever come is eating the cookies. Before I knew I couldn't eat gluten. Hi. Rewardless. Went to IGA. It was really cute. I got some good jerky. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm eating that stuff like crazy, which is disgusting. But I'm doing it. Time to thumb, 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 thumb a ride. Thumb, 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 thumb a thumb a ride. This is like a bad spot for this. Come on, thumb. Come on, thumb. Come on. Do it. Just do it. Just got a ride from a nice couple who were on vacation in Helen looking for cups. And they were planning on doing some hiking of their own later on. And we recommended maybe they just head up south side of Unicoi Gap and uh, check out all those really cool mossy rocks. So, yep. Back where we started, ready to rock and roll. On a side note, I had a um, coconut mango water tetra pack that I left back at the hitch because uh, I literally couldn't really fit anything else in their car. They had a lot of stuff in there and I left it. And I'm so sad because it was like $3 and that was a treat. And I am left unfulfilled. That looks like Leah's being a show off. This is always comforting to me. Right back in this beautiful business, yeah. I'll take it. Glad to be back. Glad to be back. On the trail again. Just can't wait till I feel unwell again. Just kidding. I just wanted to take a picture of the scenery and I hear behind me, Chica. I took a picture. I was like, did you just take the picture for me with your mouth? It was a, men it was a mental picture. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Gotta get that water. Gotta be good to my body now. I'm gonna be good to me, Leah. You just wait. All right, I think we've hiked uh, a mile, perhaps. And we're just gonna turn in. Uh, you can't see it, but this <laughs> campsite's pretty um, extravagant. There's like a stone bench seat. I'll show you in the morning. You got me a caramel? Yeah. Is it gluten free? You don't know, do you? I don't. It's okay, I'll eat it without you. We're having a hiker midnight picnic. It's fun. Salad out of a bag with a fork spoon. And a long handled spoon. And a long handled spoon. And we're having uh, crackers, gluten free crackers, and uh, Ooh. aged cheddar. Aged cheddar. Living the high life out here. Living the high life. Destroyed the wood roaches home. Their condo is no more. They're everywhere trying to run away. Mm. I mean, I, I feel kind of bad, but also gross. Please don't get in my tent. My hammock tent. Slimy. It's so stupid. It doesn't know it needs to move out. It's just like, ugh. it's 
is weird. Look how good I'm doing at bear hanging. I got the whole line up there. That's pretty good, huh? Leah. What? What are you doing in there? Contemplating my life. Why are you doing that? What better place to do it than in a hammock in the woods? Oh, okay. <laughs>